Take, you know, came out of the JUCO ranks as one of the top in the country, and he's really come in here and had an impact on the team. Tank brings a lot of um, a lot of energy. He brings a lot of defense. He can really play defense. You know, he brings a, a pretty good scoring ability. You know, he can get to the basket. He's a really good slasher. And he's Mr. Smooth. He can go left. He can go right. He can shoot jumpers. He can rebound. And as he continues to develop, he's going to have a big niche on this team. I know firsthand what he's going through. So I just tell him, you know, just keep your head, stay positive, man. It's going to come, right? You're going to, you're going to be right back where you, where you was. And he had a better JUCO career than me. So I know he's going to bring a lot of great things to this program. So transition over here to UCF uh, wasn't really that bad. You know, I obviously came to, got to come in the summer. So it made the transition a lot easier, getting to work out with the guys, do some workouts with Ben, and trans transition over into D1 basketball, which is it's a, it's a lot tougher. He's so athletic, but he's so versatile. You know, you can literally play the two through the four and flourish at either of those positions. You know, Tank's coming off a season where he was putting up 30 shots a game at uh, JUCO, so he's trying to change his game for us. I think it's again, it's that junior college transition, how hard he needs to go the level. Tank is probably one of the most talented players on our team for his running, jumping, and shooting. Uh, an ability to be able to score the basketball. He can guard multiple positions. He can be a mismatch big guard, uh, but a little bit like a lot of junior college guys, sometimes making this adjustment for them. It's just a process. I feel like once he you know, gets his game right, he should have, you know, 20-point nights. Now he's got to implement all that into the system, learning what we're doing, you know, maybe taking a back seat where I can't get that shot every time I get it. Defense get me on the floor, playing hard. Those are the things that he's got to make a transition with. But talent-wise, Tank is as talented as anyone we have on our roster. Brendan, man, you know, he's he's a really cool dude. I mean, he's kind of like George, you know, really cool dude on and off the court. Brendan, you know, he comes from a really good basketball heritage, so everything he sees, you know, he, he wants to he wants to show you what you can do. He just brings energy and intensity. Coming in, you know, he's been an impact for our team, just bringing his mindset and his work ethic uh, into our program and having that kind of uh, spirit. Uh, it, it's been a great asset for our team. I'm a guy who my teammates generally really like playing with me because I get the right people in the ball, I really distribute, I really play hard all the time, play really good defense. I'm always talking it up, trying to pick guys up when they're down. His mindset, the way he looks at the game, is not more like a player but as a coach. So he, he just, his mind is always racing, you know, and I, I love having conversations with him because he's always enlightening me too. He's like, coach, we need to be doing this in the bench. You know, he's coaching me sometimes, so. He got a pretty brilliant mind about basketball. Like, he knows what he's talking about. He's real chill, like, you know, it's fun to be around too. Just every day in practice, I bring it, try to make sure guys are doing the right stuff and, um, you know, playing really hard, doing what the coaches want me to do. And you know, during games when I'm not getting the minutes, I'm just trying to make sure everyone's really invested and locked in on what we're doing, you know, really into our team's success. 